Alright guys, welcome to another video. Um, when this video goes out it will be Sunday, so it will be exactly one week before my competition. Um, so I've just weighed myself and I am currently over the weight category, which means I now have a week to lose roughly a kilo, or probably just over a kilo. Um, so I need to start eating a little bit healthier and I can't afford to be eating crap or fast food. So, that being said, up into the shops. I'm not going to slam these down, these are eggs. That will end badly. So, what I am going to make is uh, some sweet potato and white potato hash browns, um, homemade of course, um, and I'm going to have on top of that uh, some eggs, probably poached, so I'm going to try not to fry them. Um, I'm going to have that with smoked salmon, because smoked salmon is amazing. Um, going to have that with avocado just for some healthy fats uh, and some spinach for some health. And I've bought blueberries just to snack on. I'm not going to have them now though. Right, so I'm going to start with the hash browns. Right, so I've never actually made these before so this could be a massive disaster but what I'm going to do, I'm going to grate one whole sweet potato and a couple of these potatoes, going to drain out some of the moisture from them. Um, I might then add an egg in there to help them bind. Um, I'll put red onion in there and then I'm basically going to fry them. I'm going to start off by getting rid of the uh, skin. I'm not really worried about the skin but I just want it to be pure potato really. Actually you know what? I'm going to keep the skin on these ones. Take off some of these layers, get the good bits, the good tasty bits. Right, so I'm going to start off by frying off these onions to get them soft. Then just cook down and soften. Let's get grated. This is gonna taste so great. Get it? So once you have grated the potato, what you're going to want to do, or what I'm going to do anyway, is um, put the potato into a cloth, like this one, obviously make sure it's a clean cloth, because the potato has a lot of moisture. So if I pop you here a minute, once I start squeezing it, like so, if I'm strong enough, a lot of moisture comes out and this just makes it easier when you're uh, frying them and just makes them a little bit crispier. What I'm going to add to this now dried out potato is salt and pepper. Don't be shy and I've got this garlic and tomato grinder as well so I'll put some of that in as well. Next goes in some smoked paprika. Gonna mix that in a little bit. Next that can go in are the onions. Right, next that can go in is an egg. Don't be shy, you can use your hands. This just helps to bind it. There we go. I will now just put a tiny bit of flour in because that will just help bind it further but it will also add a little bit of crispiness and for the sake of washing up I'm just going to use the same pan that I fried the onions in and you can start making your, uh, your hash browns. So I'm probably going to make two big ones so this will be the first one. I 
and at the same time I am going to fry some eggs. Um, I was going to poach them but I'm hungry, I just want to eat so I can't be bothered to uh, back around poaching eggs. Okay, now to try and actually present it. With a little bit of pepper on the eggs. Alrighty, let's give this a little taste test then. Ah, oh, before I do that. Section, then, shall we? It's probably the best way to do it. Bit of everything. Mmm. It's crispy. It's uh, a little bit smoky from the uh, paprika. A bit smoky from the the uh, salmon. It's got like nice saltiness to it as well. That is lovely. Oh my god, that's so nice. Compliments to the chef. Right, while I devour this, I'll show you the last two. Ooh, I'll show you the last two days of training of this week. Alright guys, welcome to the next day. Um, so I just finished filming my Q&A which I put out on Instagram yesterday. So if you're not following me on Instagram, head down in the link below and make sure you go and do that. Um, today um, is pretty much a chill day. <coughs> but I am going to go to the gym in a minute and just do some mobility work because I need to work on my shoulder and I also need to work on my hip mobility because I'm feeling really stiff at the moment and uh, just generally might do a little bit of blood flow work so some sort of really light lap pull downs that sort of thing basically just recovery work so I have weighed myself today and I am 107 kilos at the moment which is two kilos over my weight category um, so that is definitely not ideal so I basically have accepted that I am going to need to water cut now uh, which is pretty rubbish but as long as it means I don't have to compete in the 120s um, it's worth it so yeah I think tomorrow I'm gonna have to start really uptaking my water now so I'm gonna be looking at having six to eight liters tomorrow um, it's not gonna be a drastic one I think I can probably do it mainly just through diet uh, but just to be you know extra cautious I am gonna do a mini water cup all right see you in the gym <laughs>
nice and loose. Um, just got back from the gym. I was only in there for about half an hour because um, I didn't want to be in there for too long. Uh, I literally just did a little bit on my shoulders, just uh, kept them nice and loose, mobilised, um, and a little bit of my hips as well because they are the main problematic areas. Um, I could have done it at home, but it's nice being at the gym with a big open space with the mats and everything. Um, so now I'm just cooking a meal for my mother because it's Mother's Day today. Um, so we're gonna have a nice roast beef. Um, I'm not gonna have all of the trimmings though, um, roast potatoes, that sort of thing, because obviously I need to diet now, so I'm gonna be monitoring what I eat, unfortunately. But um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up the video now because I need to get on with the cooking. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Um, the next video is gonna be the Q&A, so if you ask a question, I will be answering your questions about meat prep. Um, so yeah, I hope you'll uh, join me in that video. But this is the end of this one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave a like if you have. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.